Here we have our spectrophotometer. We are using absorbance or OD, optical density. So what we're measuring is how much light is absorbed by our solution. We have this set to 430 nanometers. This is in relation to the wavelength of light. And you will need to change this depending on what you are testing. The first thing you will do is use a blank. What we have in this blank is everything except for the trypsin and the calcium chloride. What this does is tells the machine what parts of the solution to ignore in its calculation. What we want to actually measure is the yellow pigment produced by the digested BAPNA. We do not want to pick up any residual absorbance from the trypsin or the calcium chloride. First thing you need to do is wipe down this glass because any smudges on this will mess up your results. I'm also making sure there isn't any really noticeable bubbles in this tube that could mess up my reading. On this machine, there's actually two areas where you can put solution. Here is a square chamber for basic cuvettes, but we can also put in tubes, and that's what this is for. And this machine's actually pretty cool because I could put in different size tubes by adjusting this. I now have my solution in there, I close the lid, and I hit the blank button. Notice that there is a number given just from that blank. This is the value we are removing from the equation by blanking. Now we have our zero for our blank. We can now take the blank out. Then we put in our experimental tube. And I don't have to press anything. It will read it right as it goes in. You can either wait for this to stabilize, which is ideal, or you can take the average of some of these numbers. Now we know that there is a color here. We saw the number given by the spec, but look at how clear this looks. You cannot determine how yellow this solution is by the naked eye, which is why we need to use the spec.